Now a remarkable story of service about a 102-year-old World War II veteran. Coming up on CBS Mornings, lead national correspondent David Begno sits down with her and also her granddaughter. I just knew that she was a veteran and that she was in the Army and that she was very proud. I want to talk about your service. It wasn't much. It wasn't much? No, I was just a medic. You were a medic? Yeah, I was just to take care of the herd. The herd? You know, when they came in, I mm -hmm. took care of them. Thank you for your service. You're welcome. I am proud to be an American. Oh my gosh, already I'm getting the goosebumps here. David joining us live this morning from Los Angeles. Always so great to see you, David. So this is an amazing story. She looks fantastic for 102. <laughs> yeah. uh, tell us about the mission of her division overseas. What did they do? So she was in the 6888, which was the only all-female, all-black, segregated battalion during World War II. And here's what's fascinating, Jim and Janelle. In that battalion, according to a historian and the lady I interviewed herself, there were certain women who were light enough to pass as white, mm. and she was considered one of them. And so she ended up being a medic, and she treated, as you heard her say, some of the men who were wounded. I had never wow. heard of this battalion before. So, David, what did she do after the war? Came back, worked in the New York City Garment District as a pattern maker and a seamstress, raised a family, and Jim almost said nothing, nothing about her service until she was 100 years old, and it started with a tweet two years ago. I, I, the story is, is just incredible. We can't wait to see it. So, David, just that brief clip that we saw, you can tell yeah. she has such a powerful spirit. Tell us a little bit about her, 102 years old. She got a spunk, let me tell you. She survived COVID, okay? Wow. Hospitalized at 100 and beat COVID. Now 102, walks, can walk by herself with the assistance of a cane. And you talked about how good and youthful she looks. It's that Puerto Rican blood. Ah. Proud Puerto Rican, but as she said, even more proud to be an American. Wow. I hope you'll watch 8 a.m. on CBS Mornings. I can't wait to share it. We're so looking And good to talk to, to both of you. You too. Good to see you, you too, David. David. We'll be watching. Thank you for joining us. And of course, you can catch David's full story today on CBS Mornings. That's at 7 a.m. right after Eyewitness News. Right, it's going to be a good one.